News and Boards bringing you this morning announcements. Oh, attention. Students, bring in your plastic bags and wraps to participate in the Whirly Treks Recycling Competition. Look for bins and signage throughout the school. The school is the most recyclable materials win a prize. That's in the county and nationwide. Uh, remember to order your yearbook at jossensyearbook.com. Oh, some club news. The prom committee will be held Tuesday in Miss Alexander's room during homeroom. Make sure you're there if you're on the committee. Uh, club Crossroads, G113, which is Miss Hunt's room during homeroom on Mondays. And Student Council every Friday during homeroom. Uh, National Honor Society will now meet every first and third Tuesday of the month during the seventh and eighth grade exploratory and advisory periods. January 17th will be our next meeting. That's for National Junior Honor Society. Now on to John. All right. Seniors, you should be checking for scholarships in the guidance office. Um, there are several opportunities to take the SAT test this year. The information is on the guidance counselor's door. Um, college visits for seniors and juniors. Sign up in the gui guidance office to participate. Um, the USDA Agriculture Outreach Program is free. A two-week summer outreach program at 22 universities for students interested in animal science, veterinary medicine, agribusiness, plant pathology, aquaculture, and more. All families paid for is to travel to and from the site. Any student interested in this pro program should contact the guidance counselor in the office. Oh, we got some health care scholarships from the Primary Health Network Charitable Foundation. It's now available in the guidance office. This is an apply online applications. The applications are due by February 15th of 2017. And now off to sports. Dom and Tom, Iowa Sports. Last week, our boys varsity played Union City on Thursday and came home with a W the game. by 20 points. Were you at the game? I was at the game. So it was it's pretty impressive. I thought Jake was going to dunk it, but he just didn't have it in him. Yeah, I know. His knee gave out. And uh, Friday, our girls took home a W versus Youngsville. Barn burner. Was indeed. Came Were you there? there? Came down to the final shot. Final shot. Did she travel? Or to travel. Did she travel? She traveled. Is that the real question? Did she travel? Did she travel? She traveled. She traveled. That's why they called it. And we won. So give us the um, rundown on uh, wrestling for us. So last week we had a wrestling tournament at Faulkner. We had three top three finishes from our Knights. Uh, Spencer Head took first place in his weight class. Logan Jaquay took second in his weight class. And Sam Holt took third in his weight class. Some other good finishes we had were sixth from Nate Holt. Fourth from Matt Hewling and sixth from Alex Barnett in their respective weight classes. And the team took fifth place overall as a team. Yes, they did. That's that's those head boys. Let me tell you, they're just full of first place, aren't they? They got some wrestling in their blood. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I used to be a district champion back in my day. Why'd you quit? Got too good. Yeah, it was just too easy for yeah, me. No challenge. I understand. Uh. For this week, Monday, uh, our girls played Cambridge Springs. Tuesday, our boys played Iroquois home. And Wednesday, our boys also played Sheffield. Sheffield. Sheffield home. Thursday, our girls played Cockerton. And today is a big game. Big county game. Youngsville at Youngsville. Boys, be there, be square. Then tomorrow, boys go to Sagertown as a makeup game. But uh, you going to the game tonight? Oh, I'll be there. You'll be wouldn't there. Wouldn't miss it. <laughs> wouldn't miss it for, no, I would for not. anything. I'm gonna go sit in the Eagles' nest again, like like last oh, last weekend. Yeah, yeah, same. Sit with the enemy, get in their heads. It's all strategy, folks. You're ready here. Now on to entertainment. Dominic Giannini here with Thomas Warren for our special Valentine's Day segment. So, Thomas, Valentine's Day is fast approaching. Um, what are some past experiences you've had on Valentine's Day, positive or negative? Um, mostly negative, you know, I've never really had a Valentine, you know. I, I understand that. You understand I that? I understand that. Yeah, past experiences, not 
not well, you know, just, you know. Yeah. <laughs> what do you look for in a Valentine, Thomas? One that's not crazy, you know. I've had a past experience with uh, the crazy woman and uh, it didn't go too it's well. Reasonable. I don't want to experience that again. So, other than this crazy woman, you have uh, you have anyone special in mind? Uh, no, not really. No? I'm just no expectations? soul searching. Huh? No, no expectations. You no heard expectations. it here. All right, so um, that's it for this week. Tune in next week for the second part of this special Valentine's Day segment. This is all for this morning announcements. Have a great day. Always remember, it's a great day to be alive.